What's going on everybody and thank you for tuning in. Happy Memorial Day. Uh, so I'm going to finally answer the question that has been asked me quite a few times since I got this new truck. And that question is, what can I expect to pay if I want to do the same build that you did? So I pulled out all my paperwork here and I'm going to give you guys a couple of prices of what I paid as far as parts and truck and stuff like that. This is all going to be um, list pricing. So I didn't pay this much, but this is a good starting point for you guys like MSRP and then work down from there. Um, first off, before I even do this, I could tell you the reason that this was at all possible was because I had a good amount of equity in my TRD Pro. That was where everything happened. That's what made it possible. But I figured today I would give you guys exact list of parts I put on it with part numbers so you can write those down. But first let's start right here. This is the truck's window sticker. So <clears throat> obviously it's a Platinum Crew Max. This is before all the parts. Platinum Crew Max 4x4 2017. Um, the only thing that was added to this was the TRD Performance Dual Exhaust System that added $1,100 and the brush stainless steel step boards were $625. So the truck sticker after delivery processing and handling, $53,050. So that was the MSRP starting point of the truck. It may be a little different depending on what kind of options come on it. This didn't have many options, but the two options it had were pretty expensive. So, you know, that's that's the MSRP of the truck right there. Um, some of the parts that we added were, well, we'll start with the wheels and tires. I got those at TireRack.com. And they list for around, I think it was between 17 and 1800 bucks. I scored a sweet deal because Tire Rack is one of those websites that's always having some kind of a deal going on where if you buy a certain amount of stuff, you get certain things free with free shipping and all that stuff. I scored that deal. Um, <clears throat> at Golt, the parts that we put on the truck, we will start with the, the, the skid plate up front. And the part number for that is PT938-34140. All right, and that lists for 400 bucks. Uh, the next was the TRD Pro Suspension, PTR13-34140, and that is 2600 list. Um, the next one is the air intake, and that is PTR03-00140, and that lists for 425 And I also, because we're here, the gasket, you know, when, when they put the intake in, I made them change out the gasket, you know, the so it doesn't have a whistle. Uh, that part number is 22271-50050, and that's the throttle body gasket. And that was four bucks. So, list at the end of the day with all of the upgrades, the total of the truck, again, MSRP, not what I paid, 58379 So, that can be your starting point. The good news for you guys, if you want to do a build like this, Think of it this way, you have the 1794 edition or the platinum edition, that's the top of the line Tundras that you could do this build with. You also can do this with a limited, you could do this with any Tundra, but if you want a little luxury in it, you could do it with the limited, you could do it with the platinum, you could do it with the 1794. Very good starting points right there. Again, you don't always have to add everything I added and stuff like that. There's, you know, if you don't need that TRD Pro suspension, save the 2600 list. Um, but this is a good starting point for you guys, especially with the model year coming to an end. You may be able to score a great deal like I did because a lot of a lot of things lined up for me to make this happen. This in no way, shape or form would I pay fifty eight thousand dollars. So um, a lot of things lined up to make this happen. Thank God there was equity in your TR in the TRD Pro. So if you have a TRD Pro, uh, go get that thing appraised because you probably get a good amount of equity out of it. If you're looking to get out of it, that is. But um, I hope this is a good starting point for you guys. I hope this helps. Um, so yeah, let me know if you plan on doing anything with it. Also a question, would you rather hook up a Platinum like I did or the 1794? Because I really do love that 1794 too. There was just too much chrome. But yeah, let me know what you think. Um, comment below the video, Twitter and Instagram, at TundraDude34. You guys have a good one.